Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Sue. Today I have something super exciting to share with you guys. I have an unboxing and you guys all know I love unboxing videos. Anyways, but this is going to be my super official first 2021 un luxury unboxing for this year. The box is finally here. Ah, super excited. Um, you guys obviously know from the title, this is going to be my Chanel 19 flat bag that I will be unboxing with you guys. And a little backstory, this was not bought new new. I explained in one of my previous videos says this is actually pre-love but new so the lady that i sourced this from or bought it from i'm not sure if she is a reseller but i do know that i got a really good reference from this seller as you guys all know i followed the facebook chanel page i was trying to get a reference for this person because i've never bought from her before um the admin of the page actually commented on my post and said that i can trust this seller like she's legit she doesn't she wouldn't say anything fake and i got a few more uh, recommendations from other people that commented in my post also that is pretty much how i trusted and bought this bag pre-love from this lady um otherwise i wouldn't have bought it just because for a bag that's so expensive like this in the thousands you really want to make sure that you get your resource right and legit because you know it's a lot of money down the drain if you end up buying something that's not authentic and excuse me for talking like i'm out of breath i am out of breath because this baby hasn't popped tomorrow marks 41 weeks so i have another week to go before my um, month no 42nd week <laughs> So I'm just waiting any day now for this baby to pop. So it's really hard for me to kind of just talk fast. If I am out of breath, please excuse that. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. I really wanted to just unbox it earlier and then, you know, show you guys after. But I thought, why not share the excitement with you guys? Again, this is supposed to be a brand new Chanel, not used. And it's supposed to be the full set, meaning that it comes with everything. Um... So it looks like this. I am so excited because honestly, when I was first introduced to this bag a year ago, I followed this one girl, I forgot her name, but she's so cute. She actually had bought this purse and did a unboxing or review on her channel and she had did the small and the medium. And when I first saw it, I was like, ah, uh, uh, it's not really my thing i would have rather gone for the one of the original classics i seen this bag made in like the all white and they have the little band um bandana or is it bandana or bando on it and this is so pretty and even the like caramel gold color it's so pretty if you guys own one of those and i just fell in love with it and so i decided to you know what i'm just gonna get this one and get it in the black i'm not sure if i mentioned it but yes this is gonna be in all black just because i'm just so afraid of color transfer versus an expensive piece you guys know what i mean this is wrapped up really really nice so it's kind of like wrap up the opposite way it says chanel right there so they have it wrapped like upside down and then this way is Kind of, it's got the ribbon and the bow. There's the receipt and um, I'm sorry you guys, I don't know why the lighting is so dark back there. I have two of these and it's still dark. I don't know. Whatever. Those new. <laughs> Here's that. It has a little booklet in all different languages. Okay, guys, so I've been trying to adjust my camera for the past five minutes and I just can't get it right. So if it's weird, if the lighting is just too dark and too bright on each side, please excuse that. I just kind of noticed when I was filming that when I was like throwing up the white, it would adjust the screen darker or lighter. And then when it had this, it was adjusting it too and I just couldn't get it right. So excuse that. I am using my vlogging camera. So it kind of limited on all of these stuff that I can do with before my old camera had died. So anyways, where were we at? Oh yeah, I was showing you guys what was in this package. Oh, this little thing. It was just like the a little booklet in all different languages. And then this, you guys had told me actually. Thank you guys so much for commenting in my previous video. That this is actually a little cloth thing that you use to clean your bag with. So thank you guys. Now I know what this is for. The moment we've all been waiting for. Interesting. It smells really, really new. But quite different from my Chanel mini cocoa handle. All right. You guys excited? Here it is, and oh my goodness, 
Oh. Here is this beauty. You know what it smells like? It smells like when you, um, like a completely brand new item you buy from the store, right? But it smells like a brand new, almost like a brand new shoes. Mm, oh my god. So this is the Chanel 19 in the size small. Yes, yeah, so this is the smallest size. This is in lambskin, not ghost skin and all that. They make it in two of those. And I do hear that ghost skin is supposed to be more durable or better. Um, I've been reading online, doing my own research, and it says that the lambskin that's used for the 19 is actually more durable than the regular plastic laps that has the um, small little quilts all over. And if you guys didn't know, this is actually considered one of their classics now. But here it is. Okay. As you can see. Take that out. So interesting. So this is the gold chain. Please excuse me too if I'm taking it a little bit long. I'm just trying to inspect the bag. It looks like so. And then take that out. Is the inside of the bag. This is beautiful color. This is like a Russian red. I don't think this is a burgundy. Definitely more of a Russian red. But the inside looks, yeah. The inside looks like so. That and then the car is in here. And this is supposed to be a 31 series. A 31 series. The strap is all in kind of multi different colors. You got the gold right here, and you've got this darker color all the way up here. There's a shiny portion of it right here. And then this part's not as shiny, but it's got leather behind it. In the back has this amazing pocket that everybody keeps raving about how I can fit your phone in it. Bag is not supposed to be a super structured bag, but honestly, decent amount of structure to me. <laughs> so here it is again, close up. And that. Okay, so let me just try it on real quick so you guys can see. Um, just a real quick little mod shot. For reference, I am 5 feet 1, pregnant and 9 months, waiting for my baby to pop, and roughly around 135 pounds as of today. Here it is. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is the perfect size crossbody. Okay, this is so nice. I think it's the perfect length for me. It's not too long. I was afraid it was going to be too long, you guys, but... I think this is gonna be so cute. Something on this side. Okay guys, I think that wraps it up for this video. I'm super obsessed with this bag. It's super cute and I don't have anything bad to say about it. Everything looks perfect to me. I'm just gonna take this tag off. I will be doing a video, a full review video for you guys on this bag so stick around stay tuned so you guys can be up to date with um, all of my latest videos and you guys know that i'm really detailed when it comes to all of my review videos mod shots what fits in it i'm going to be getting a purse organizer for this bag also so i'm going to be comparing that see if it's worth it to get the organizer or not you know if it's worth it so since i'm going to be doing a full review on this gorgeous bag if you guys do have any questions at all that you guys are super curious about comment down below on this video and i'll answer it on that video when i do the full review on this besides that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys